Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day and checking out this video. This is my March empties. Wow, March really did just like zoom past. It was fast, but I have a lot here, so let's get to Gabin. Okay, we've got one that I literally just finished. It is actually still warm. <laughs> it is strawberry, what is this called? No, banana berry smoothie from Homeworks. This is one of his newer releases like you can kind of see it's still wet I literally just finished this but this burned really really well I mean seriously this burned so well not a puny wick in sight not a shifting wick it was gorgeous I don't even think no there's no soot it looks dark but there's really no soot I think it's just residue from the wax itself but I mean this was awesome and I was very very careful about the whole don't burn it more than four hours Three to four hours is your sweet spot with these and you have to follow it. You really, really do. Because if you do, you have no problems. And that's exactly what happened with this. So this, the scent notes on this are banana cream, raspberry swirl, fresh strawberry, vanilla sugar. I liked this, but it kind of had a sour note. I love it on cold. I really, really enjoy it on cold. When burning though, I, I kind of get like a funky vibe. Almost like a yogurt note. Like a, like like a sour yogurt, you know what I'm saying? It's not bad, like it's not bad enough to make me wanna blow the candle out and not burn it, but it just made me go, hmm, what's that? So yeah, I really enjoy it on cold. I like it much better on cold than I do warmed, just being honest, uh, yeah. But it's not bad, not bad. Another one that I'm still burn. Well, this is one that I'm still burning. I haven't finished it yet. This is Frosted Coconut Snowball from BB Dubs. You can see I have like one burn left because these things leave so much residue. It's insane. Or like so much at the bottom. It's not even funny. But look how beautiful this one has been burning. I mean, absolutely stunning. This burn. I love this dark blue wax so 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 pretty and I'm shocked that it didn't leave a bunch of residue on the sides like it is it is beautiful love the label even though it's got Christmas trees and a snowflake on it I don't care this is a really nice coconut scent I have the wallflower too the tag's probably in, the, in my bin here somewhere that's like scentless this is not super strong kind of noticeable but mm, yeah definitely not like a 10 out of 10 I'd give it like a four or five but it's a very pleasant scent not overwhelming, not too coconut heavy, like, you know, sun, it's not suntan coconut, co coconut, it's a very pretty coconut. All right, something I put my candle crock is Cotton Candy Clouds from Country Candle. If you saw my review on this, you know the whole gist of it. It smells incredible. It's got a little bit of scent left, but it's not completely scentless. Uh, it smells incredible. I, wonderful cotton candy scent. So sweet. So nice. Just did not perform. I mean, and look at the color that it turned. So ugly. The fragrance oils are all like icky. I don't know. And then look at the bottom. Mm, yeah, the fragrance oil is definitely, definitely discolored. But in the crock, it was just okay too. It was better in the crock for sure. I, I got like five days maybe out of it. Definitely better in the croc, way stronger. Still not a 10 out of 10 by any means, but definitely much better. I did take it out because it just got too light and I have so many candles that I'm not gonna leave something in the croc if it's not throwing to the to the strength that I prefer. It started to like throw it like a two and I'm like, all right, time to go. I want something that I can really, really smell. If I have to search for the scent, mm, you're not really worth it for me. So yeah, this is fine. I have a large jar left of it and I'll crock it. I'll like it. I'll enjoy it. I just don't know if I would repurchase that. <sighs> Bummer though, because it's a really good scent. Something else that's in the crock is the Yankee Candle Cotton Candy. You're kind of, you're probably like, what are you talking about? How is it in the crock if it's empty? This was a jar of wax melts. So I originally burned this candle to like here maybe, and it was just completely scentless. This is, okay, speaking of cotton candy, this is the best cotton candy scent that has ever been released. I said what I said, I mean it. It is, it is overwhelmingly good. It is so good. I just love, I've been hoarding this. This jar is from 2017, so. 
Oh, and they never brought it back, of course. Are we surprised? No. It also had this beautiful big label. But this is seriously the best cotton candy scent ever. I mean, honestly. Or is it 2013? 2017 or 13? 2017, for sure. Um, it's just uh, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So anyway, this was um, wax melts that I had turned this into and then they were just sitting there. So I'm like, you know, what? I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put it in the crock. I'm gonna put it in the crock and it'll do better. And it is, it's definitely doing better. So yeah, cotton candy for Mickey Candle was good. Two that I am burning now, but not quite finished, but will be soon. And I just don't feel like hanging on to them are Cabana Linen from Huntington Home, AKA Aldi Candles. These you guys, fabulous absolutely fabulous these are so good it smells like oh my gosh maddie is so distracting me she's on the other side of the ottoman peeking over she's laying in her bed and she's just like peeking over at me and she's the cutest thing ever anyway uh cabana linen has been beautiful they look at these burns i mean are you kidding me yeah there's residue i really don't care welcome to my life i don't care beautiful absolutely stunning. I think that these are so strong. They haven't started to soot. They haven't given me puny wicks. I mean, they're just doing fabulously. So stinking fabulous. They smell like the nicest fabric softener known to man. So strong too. I mean, actually visible, like, I mean, noticeable, visible. You can't see these. <laughs> you can't see the scent. They're noticeable. You walk into the house, it smells like laundry. You walk into the room, it smells like laundry. It's awesome these are so so good i'm actually like really high key mad that i only have these two Ugh, i'm really mad okay jelly donut from goose creek i finished this up today and this is all my fault that it's icky and ugly other than that it had burned really just fine i mean it looks dark but there's there's nothing there i don't really know why that is Okay, yeah, there's like one piece of black on my hand, but not, I don't know why that is. But anyway, this was Jelly Donut from Goose Creek. I loved this like raspberry colored wax. The scent, the scent on cold, I liked. And then I, I lit it and I was like, what is that? This seems to be a running theme. I go, what is that? <laughs> I, I did not like this lit. I did not. So I've talked about before how there's this certain pumpkin oil that some candles use that just takes on this horrible, horrible note. And this took a similar turn. Not saying it's the same oil, not saying it smelled like pumpkin, but something about this just smelled burnt and dirty and icky and did not... This is my thing with Goose Creek that I've had happen more than once, so I'm calling it a trend. I pick a candle out, I smell one thing on cold... I light it up and it smells completely different on warm and I don't and then you you blow it out and it smells back to normal I I can't understand it it happened with like almost every single Halloween candle it happens with this it happened with pumpkin cupcake I just don't understand I don't I just don't think I don't think we get along I don't know why but yeah this would not be a repurchase it took on a like I said a funky funky vibe when it got to down here it got it had plenty of life left in it, but I just blew it out because I was like, it was getting small wicks. Up until this point, it burned just fine. Definitely burned hot, but I burned it in my kitchen, so I kept an eye on it and trimmed the wicks, yada, yada. But um, yeah, once it got down here, it got puny wicks. So I was like, okay, we're done. I blew it out. <laughs> I didn't even let it pull out all the way. I blew it out and I was like, we're, scoop the wicks out. Gotta go. So yeah, jelly donut, not a repurchase. I wish, because it smelled pretty good on cold, but warm. I don't know what happened. Don't know what happened. All right, a Kringle in Citrus and Sage. This one, you guys, it's blue. It's it's a little sooty, but that I think is my fault. How sooty is it? Eh, it's, it's not horrible. I've had way worse. But um, yeah, it, it it got a little sooty, and that's my fault. Also, look at this. Isn't this interesting? The bottom is not even. So there's like this. The foot of the jar is not even. So there's less wax on this side and more on this side isn't that interesting I noticed that no and it's not because the candle is crooked you can see that isn't that funny wild anyway citrus and sage this was strong you guys strong okay I usually burn two candles in this area you know that 
I had this in a lantern on the floor and it, it filled the entire room. I was shook. I was honestly so shook. I said, what the heck is going on? This was so strong. I mean, nine, nine out of 10 strong. It was awesome. It was so good. This is very, it's herbally, but not in the way that you think. Like it, the sage is definitely there, but it blends so beautifully with the citrus notes in here. I wouldn't even consider this a citrus candle. I would consider this an herbal candle. It was so pretty though. Really, really pretty. Not too overwhelming. Just the right amount of herbs and then the undertone of, of citrus. I loved it. You know, I love sage. I just, I love sage and home fragrance and this did not disappoint. It burned as per usual, stunningly beautiful. I just can't even, the, the, the sitting is my fault. Absolutely my fault. Uh, I, at the end of the, at the end of its life, I just completely let it go and then forgot about it and it, it just burned. Now that's, doesn't usually happen with this, the Kringles. So I think something in the oils of this made it a little bit extra sooty, but it's totally fine. I had it in the lantern. It caught the soot. It was worth it for the scent and throw. Cause this was awesome. Really, really, really great fragrance. I mean, so good. Another Kringle is Over the Rainbow. This was in their paraffin, and you could just see the difference here. Look how disgustingly discolored, icky, gross, nasty. It burned just fine, which I was quite shocked about because the soy burns so beautifully for me that I expected the paraffin to really just like, and it did kind of, but not as bad as I thought, honestly. Definitely not as strong as I thought it would be. It smells strong and cold. I lit it. Not the strongest, but I'm, again, thinking it's the paraffin. But, again, it burned just fine. I mean, no soap whatsoever. It is truly, like, crystal clear. It's crazy. But it did discolor. The wicks were not super great. Um, but I never had a puny wick, which was good. I mean, they were smaller, but never puny to the point where, like, it tunneled or had a cotton ball, which was good. This fragrance on this, I love this scent. It is so awesome. It's a melon fragrance. Truly a mix of like cantaloupe and honeydew and almost maybe a smidge of watermelon. It is just beautiful. And then like a sprinkling of, of sea salt, but it's not salty. It's just, oh, it's really, really good. It's awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome melon candle. I love the label. We all know if you watched my last haul that I ordered another one and it came in paraffin. Unfortunately, I have another paraffin of this. I was hoping that it would be soy, but they, they had a goof on the website. It's all right. I'm going to burn it. I'm still going to love it. But once this officially goes to soy, I would definitely, definitely repurchase that. Okay. Just taking a quick break from candles. I have an Unstoppables. Uh, what are you? Fresh. The Fresh Unstoppables fabric refresher. I enjoy that. I have like every form of Unstoppables known to man. All right. We'll continue with candles because I do have a lot. This is Homeworks. What are you? Glazed Blueberry Muffin top is a little dusty. Glazed blueberry muffin. <laughs> this was really good, you guys. This was good. But you know my disdain for these lids. Uh, I hate them. I hate them with a passion. But this vessel was gorgeous. I wish I had a need for it. I don't because you could easily peel this label off and it is just this stunning blue and it's like a plaid design. Oh my god, gorge. But we are not hoarders here. So it's blueberry jam, lemon sugar, fresh pastry, and elderberry syrup. This was really lovely. This was more of a blueberry and elderberry scent than a muffin. It was like a smidge of a muffin, like a pastry note. But this was mostly blueberry and elderly and elderly berry, and elderberry. But man, was it! It was lovely. It was a really lovely burn. I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it thoroughly. I did. I did. <sighs> I have, I think, this came in the breakfast trio, and I think I have one more. But if that trio ever goes on super sale on QVC, which doesn't happen, they never clearance their stuff out, I would definitely get it again because it was really good. <laughs> All right. Another Kringle. <clears throat> okay. Gray. Gray, gray, gray. Okay, this, oh, it has scent, some scent left and it's so good. Okay, I love this scent. I mean, seriously, seriously love this scent. I'm talking 
maybe top 10 fragrances I've ever smelled. For reals, for reals, I just, I love this fragrance. So this is the medium jar in the soy. I lit her up, as you can see, it's not completely full. Well, it's kind of hard to tell, but she started her life up here. Now we're down to here. I lit it. I was expecting this to blow me away because it's a cologne type. It's, it's not even cologne. It's a manly type fragrance, but it's so pretty and so amazing. So I was expecting a lot. I was expecting so much from him. And then I was burning it and I was like, I don't, I don't smell anything. Why don't I smell anything? It's so strange. Pulled out fine, burned fine, doing great, except for the fact I couldn't smell it. So I'm like, okay, this ain't right. Something's amiss. Let's put it in the candle crock. And now we're gonna, we're gonna crank it up and we're gonna smell this delicious suit and tie man up in this house. I didn't. Even in the crock, it was only about a three. Burning, I mean, it was seriously a zero. Seriously 0. 0.00000 cent. In the crock, I maybe got it at a three. And that was, that's given it, that's given it a big score because I still had to kind of search for it. And it wasn't like I walked in the room and I knew exactly what I was smelling. It was like, I think, oh yeah, that, there it is. <sighs> Such a bummer absolute bummer hated the fact that I couldn't smell it because I love it I mean I'm seriously obsessed seriously love it so much um but I just I there was nothing there was nothing and I have a large jar of it so maybe it was just a bad batch I don't know because I can smell it so much on cold I was I was literally confused I was actually confused I don't know what happened okay citron and cilantro Two of these from Aldi here. Burned awesome. Seriously, again, killing the game. Aldi just killed it. They were a great yellow wax. They did get a little, like, dirty, but whatever. No big deal. This was a really nice, really nice fragrance, surprisingly. I thought I wouldn't love the cilantro out in here, but it was really nice. It was truly woo, citrus and like a watery, greeny, slightly clean herbal scent, if that makes sense. I thought this was a standout scent. I thought it was really nice. I would definitely get it again. I thought it was different. I, I enjoyed Citron and Cilantro. I did, I did. All right, we got to move quickly here because we're, we're taking up too much of the people's time. Ah, oh, coconut shortbread from Homeworks. Cult favorite, not a favorite of mine, unfortunately. This was fresh coconut milk, buttery shortbread, lemon zest, and vanilla. I loved the label. I thought it was beautiful. It got a little dingy. Mm, doesn't really bother me any, you know, a little bit. On cold, I love this. I, I think this is a beautiful lemon. I don't really don't get much coconut. It's more of like a lemon shortbread, maybe with like an afterthought of coconut scent. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I loved it. I thought it was perfect for this time of year. I lit it. And again, I went, what is that? This became so oily and so slightly burnt oil smell. I, I, I was like, what is going on? Because people love this. And I just, I don't know what happened. Because again, on cold, smells amazing. I light it up and it goes, womp, womp, womp. It truly smells like when you're, if you bake cookies and you put too much butter in and you put them in the oven and you cook them a little too long. So there's the, the edges are oily and brown. And then you get that smell of like burnt oil or cook, cooked browning oil, you know, that's what it smells like at that. It was so strange. And I don't, doesn't smell like it now. Don't know where it came from because it smells good, but it just didn't. I have one more of these. I will certainly try it again because, like I said, I really enjoyed the fragrance. I just, I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. Ice Vanilla Frosting from Scentworks. I haven't burned a Scentworks in a minute, but really, really pretty. Gorgeous blue. How many ounces are these? 14 and a half. So this is Creamy Vanilla, Cool Peppermint, Sugar Crystals, and Whipped Buttercream Frosting. No, it wasn't. This was Vanilla Buttercream. Um... Vanilla buttercream, and that was pretty much it. Oh, somebody's here. I'm gonna have to do two parts of these videos. I apologize for that super abrupt ending, but I got cut off and then got busy. Blah, 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 blah. 
anyway, I was talking about Scentworks Ice Vanilla Frosting. It was good. I thought it was pretty good. Most people say it's scentless, but I don't think it's scentless. <laughs> but that is it for my empties video for this month. I'm whispering because better by sleeping. <laughs> um, I'm going to do the wax empties in a separate video and I will have that up sometime after this. Let me know down below what you guys enjoyed this month. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye!